Welcome back to Mac Music Review. If 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 you want to know how the channel works, <coughs> you want to know how the channel works, just just read the description. It's got all the information. It should be all down there. Today we're going to be talking about the EP slash mixtape slash album by Derek Minor called Your Soul Must Fly. Derek Minor is a pretty specific name in the Christian rap genre. He's he was uh, originally he was actually more popular. I think he was more popular by when he went as pro. That was his old identity was the rapper pro. You can still you can go on Amazon Music, you can go on Spotify and search pro and you can listen to pro albums. But pro really is the same person as Derek Minor. Derek Minor is just this role that he's taken on in the 2010s. And I think Pro, I think Pro was part of Reach Records, and as Derek Minor now, you know, has with the identity of Derek Minor, Derek Minor uh, actually started his own Christian rap label known as Reflection Music Group, and he is definitely the most significant, the most impactful, the most like the most popular, the most well-known name in his label. I really like don't know the names of any of the other people in his label. It's very small, insignificant Christian rappers in his label. But then again, he he kind of is a he is a a name that's he is a fairly well known name in the Christian rap industry. Not as much as any of the Reach Records rappers, but you know, because Reach Records is the biggest Christian rap label. But Derek Minor still has a little bit of uh, there's a little bit of stuff on him. Some people know him. Anyway, this EP is only seven tracks long, and every one of these songs is less than four minutes. So this is a pretty short, uh, pretty you know. It's, it's an EP. It's about the length of an EP. It's uh, 23 minutes, you know. Um, the first song, Launchpad, is only like 2 minutes and 6 seconds long. It's not even, it's under 3 minutes, and all the other songs are between 3 and 4 minutes. So this really isn't a super long project. I, I, I would call it an EP. There are a few guest artists on this album. Um, you actually do, the biggest, most significant guest artist on this album is KB you know, of Reach Records, the Christian rapper. He's definitely the most significant, popular name attached to this whole project. He's on the song Take Off along with Cannon and... Cannon and, um, Ty Brazel. Ty Brazel doesn't really... He's, he's also kind of insignificant in Christian rap music. But then, um, Cannon is actually part of Reflection Music Group. That's, that's one rapper from Reflection Music Group that I can name. There are also a few other guest artists on this album. Uh, Astronaut has Diraj and Brian John. I think that's, or Juane. I don't know how to say his name. And then uh, the song Level has Lil Bree and Brian Juane. And once more, all really insignificant names. I am familiar with Canon. Like, if you see my channel, I've actually reviewed like tons of Canon albums, m several different Canon albums. And then uh, Ty Brazel, we're going to get to that later, but I've reviewed him kind of extensively. And I'm going to review him more in the future because I, I like that artist a lot. But those are all the, the guest artists on this album. Your Soul Must Fly. It, it, this is interesting. This is Your Soul Must Fly is the first part of a four album mixtape EP project series called your, uh, the Up and Away series. Up, I think that's what it's called, Up and Away. And the, the way it goes, it flows as a sentence. Your soul must fly high above the trap by any means. Your Soul Must Fly is the first entry in this series. High Above is the second. The Trap is the third. And the, and um, By Any Means is the last entry. And that actually hasn't been made yet. Should drop this year. I'm, I'm hoping it drops this year. Because I'm kind of looking forward to it. But yeah. So this is the first entry in that series of projects. And this album. And each of the series so far has had. A, each of the EPs or projects. Has had a different focus. And different like theme musically. This theme of Your Soul Must Fly is literally just hype up tracks. This is literally most, almost every song on this album is just really hype. There's only one exception to this, but all the other songs in this album are really hype and energetic and they're just supposed to get your blood pumping, you know, to listen to at the gym and just, and just really, you know, it's, it's turn, turn up music, basically. Just, just have a good time, hype up music. Most of the songs on this album, this was made in 2017, so you can expect some trap influence. I would say most of the songs on this 
are trap inspired or trap influenced. There are some songs which kind of are kind of different. Your Soul Must Fly has this really chill beat, and that's the big exception on this album, but it's a very chill song. Level has this really haunting, scary background music for some reason, like really dark. Once more, the lyrics are really just hype up, turn up lyrics with this really dark instrumental with creepy voices in the background and everything. Uh, Launchpad is a totally explosive song with some Kanye dark fantasy-esque singing at the beginning with like a choir and then it builds to this this constantly building momentum and then it just explodes and goes crazy. It is a crazy song. As far as lyrical content goes, like I said, there really isn't much. I mean, it's, it's really all just hype up music. You know, he's, he's a Christian, occasionally have Christian references. He references other rappers. He references Migos. He references, I think Kanye gets referenced in Takeoff. And I mean, and movies, Matrix, John Wick in the first, in the first one, or, or in Jumpin', I don't remember. Anyway, anyway, the lyrics really are not very profound. They're mostly just having a good time, except for the last song, Your Soul Must Fly, which is a very serious song. Like, it's the, it's the big exception on the album. Musically, it's very different from the rest of the album. It's very chill. It's very just relaxing and music and the, the singing and like the singing on most of these songs is really aggressive and energetic and the song is laid back it's pretty chill and the lyrics are more serious the lyrics are about um the lyrics say in the song says your soul must fly and that you were made for greatness and it's kind of an uplifting song but it also does talk about some dark things talking about cops killing black people he talks about um, other serious topics. I can't remember at this moment, but it's it's a more serious song, but it, it ultimately the lyrics are uplifting. This project, this EP, Derek Miner's Your Soul Must Fly, is pretty lit. This thing, it, it really aims to be like a cool sounding thing, really just a fun, like energetic hype up album, and it does a pretty good job. It hits the mark much more often than it doesn't. They're really... Most of the songs on this album are really hype, they're really enjoyable, they're really fun, they just sound really good. And most of the stuff on here is very well produced. Most, a lot of it does sound like trap music, and of course that thing does that thing, it always does that thing. And there's a wasp. Anyway. Um, I'm really scared right now. Anyway, uh, yeah, most of this music isn't super duper original, but there is original stuff and original elements and everything thrown in to really make it stand out. And so most of these songs really do have some special flair to them and some special thing that makes them really good. But yeah, it's this is a well-produced, very good-sounding project. The first track, Launchpad, is just amazing. It's the standout, like... It's just, it's absolutely explosive. You just have to come back to the song after hearing it because it's that cool. It's, the energy is just like unparalleled. Like it's, it's just an insane song. And then um, Astronaut, that is another really cool one. It has a super, super catchy, fun hook, really good chorus that you're just constantly singing. You're always coming back to it. It's like, it's like a trap rap song, but a very well produced, good sounding trap rap song that really works very well. Anti-Gravity and Jumpin'. Anti-Gravity is pretty fun, and then you have Jumpin' and Level, which are not as good as Astronaut or Anti-Gravity or the rest of the songs in this album, but they're not terrible. Uh, Anti-Gravity, I mean, uh, Jumpin' and Level, are they work in their own ways, but they're not, you know, amazing. And the one song on here that I really don't love is, uh, the one that I really don't care for is Take Off. The production just sounds a little bit old, a little bit corny. Uh, Pro has some really corny stuff, and Derek Minor, his older stuff, is some of it is kind of corny and cheesy, and it kind of sounds like that, like a little bit outdated, not not super cool. Even these high-level, really good guest artists really don't do much for this song, because it's, it doesn't have a great instrumental. Lyrically, it's not great. It's, it's kind of a meh. The last song on this project, Your Soul Must Fly, wins in every single respect. Vocally, it's very good. Oh, one thing I have to say, Derek Minor does a fantastic job. Like, Derek Miner's delivery, there was something on my hat. 
Derek Miner's delivery is fantastic. Normally he's really energetic and really aggressive sometimes. Like really screaming. And sometimes his voice is kind of muffled with this, this effect they do like on anti-gravity. And he just, he's so committed. He's so energetic and like passionate on this project. Like just really delivering. And he does a great job. And on your soul must, the song Your Soul Must Fly is no exception. It's more slow. It's more serious. It's uplifting. The music is incredible. It sounds really, really good. The lyrics are good. The lyrics are not the best thing. The lyrics are not perfect, but the lyrics are good. The music is really good. The vocals are really good. It is a really, really good song. Really good sounding song. Lyrically, this project really isn't much. There isn't a whole lot going for it in terms of the lyrics. It's mostly, I mean, you got a lot of cool references. You got some clever lyrics, but there's not I mean, not much is actually said. It's mostly just hype up songs that get you energetic, ready to run at the gym, ready to exercise, listen to it while you're exercising. But you know, you know, while you're working out. Besides that, lyrically, this project's not not great. Your soul must fly really does have a lot going for it. But the main problem with this project is it really doesn't have a ton of depth. I did end up re-listening to this out this um, project several times. And the, each time you realize that it's, it really doesn't have a whole lot of depth and a ton of originality. It really does have a lot of really fun songs and it is well produced for the most part, but the music really is still trap rap. It's well done trap rap, but it's still trap. And it's not the most amazing, mature, layered depth thing type of music. And the, and the, you know, the lyrics aren't, aren't great for the most, for most of this project. They're pretty pretty surface level not they don't get really deep and they don't you know not super mature or layered either but this is a fun project it's got some really fun songs some really cool songs launchpad astronaut anti-gravity your soul must fly those are all really fun cool songs and some of the other songs still sound good one of them takeoff doesn't work super well all in all this is a really enjoyable well-produced cool project and vocally it is pretty impressive i'm gonna give this album a 3.5 out of 5. Thank you for watching. Once again, this video ran a lot longer than I wanted it to. I, I didn't mean for this to be long, but it kind of was, so I apologize for that. Thank you for watching.